What's up guys, one more thing to bring us a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now today is my last video making here at Liberty University for 2020. Uh, I won't see another one here until 2021. I'll be going home today, it's fun. there's nothing on my bed except for the sheets which are all rolled up. So, let's talk about our game against the Cincinnati Bengals. It is a collision between the first and second overall picks, who Ron Rivera said today in the press conference, had Chase Sean been taken first, we would have actually gotten Burrow. And so, yeah, so it's going to be a good one. It's going to be him facing off. Um, I just want to say a disclaimer. Just a disclaimer to those who, um, see, Chase is a bust. I addressed this in last week's video, but I'm going to say it again. For those who say Chase Young is a bust, if you look at the game film, man's just getting triple teamed on every, every play, and he hasn't played even a full season of his NFL career. Not even half a season, because he missed a couple games. And he's getting triple teamed. That never happens. That is outstanding. That is absolutely fantastic as a football player for him to be triple teamed. Not fantastic, but it's like for his skill level, that's fantastic, obviously. Um, so, going forward, you know what that means, that we'll have to work ways to make sure that others can draw off that triple team so Chase Young can make more plays. Um, Deron Payne, Montez, Allen, kind of get them lined up with Chase is, and I think that'll be a big help. But let's go into the game against Cincinnati. We're 2 and 7, facing off a team that's, what, what are they? Um, Two, seven, two, six, and one, maybe, I think, or I think that's right. Uh, two, seven, and one. I don't know, but um, what we, what, what do I think? I think we want to win. I think we'll win. I say this all the time. Probably bite the bullet again, but who knows? Who cares? I say we're winning. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough game. Uh, they, they, they've beaten some good teams. They've held in with some good teams and also lost to some bad teams. They beat the Titans, but got clobbered by the Steelers. Who knows exactly how it's gonna go? But the moral story is, I think we're gonna win. Uh, I think um, Cincinnati in their division, they're really trying to build something, but they're more like, all right, we don't have it this year, but maybe next year. We're like, hey, our division is self for grabs. We're in win now. We're in win now position. So I think this game's really gonna show how much of win now position we are presently in. So I do think we're gonna win. I think uh especially with the chemistry being built between um McCorn, Sims and uh, Smith, I think I'll be a uh really show out in this game. We really have a good chance on um, their defense is not bad. The defense is not bad, but it's something we can definitely um play with and have fun with. Um off, yeah, it's game to Gibson, get Logan Thomas the ball. I think the line can block because they're on Christians on the IR, so. We really need Cordelius Lucas. And David Short to step up, or more than most, is going to be playing a lot more left tackle than right tackle because they want to make sure that blind side is covered as best as they we can. Um, Defensively, I think I'll uh, just keep the pressure going. Uh, we need to watch how much they can run it because they have some running backs back there. So we need to make sure we are doing everything we can to combat their ability to run the ball in the game. Uh, they had a couple good receivers with a guy named A.J. Green and a guy named T. Higgins. Maybe he's questionable, so we'll see. Um, a good defense there. I mean, slightly like good, so um, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, can afford probably lined up on. T. Higgins most because he's been doing more than goes in this season. That's for sure. So um, definitely a lot of him. Darwin needs to show out. Murray needs to show out. They really started hot at the beginning of the season. They can't let up. Run defense really needs to um, pay off. I think you know uh, the one thing I've noticed in the rotation. I think there needs to be a smaller uh, rotation with uh, Kerrigan and Young. Um, I love Kerrigan to death. I love Young. But for the more crucial downs, I think Young is a better way to go just because he's a little bit faster. So he's a little bit quicker to get to the quarterback. But I take away, because some plays last week, Kerrigan was getting immense pressure. So you can't take that away from Kerrigan because he is absolutely doing great. Uh, so we're going to have a good game on our hands. I'm going to be competitive. Um, I think we'll handle him just fine. 
Yeah, it'll be a competitive game. It's gonna be a fun game. Okay, it's gonna be. A, it could be a shootout, or it could be a very defensive game. It could. It's either gonna be one of those. I don't think it's gonna be a one sided at all. That's not a one sided fest. Uh, we need to play both halves. Uh, only the past couple games we've played second halves, not first halves. And uh, if we play first halves, we'll play second half. We might actually make a football game out of it. So let's really hope that our offense can really produce a full game of full competitive play going into this week. Other than that, I see us winning, not by a lot, but us by win. We be three and seven on the season, uh, second in the division. So let's get it. So I, and then we'll move on to Cowboys on Thanksgiving. Let's go. It's a homecoming game also, so we will be wearing our throwback uniforms. I was wondering if we were going to wear those this year since we got rid of the name. And, um, but we still got them, which I'm happy about because I love those jerseys. And it's ironic because this is the game two years ago where Alex got wore that same jersey and broke his legs. So another step back. Um, step back, not step back. Step back in a good way. Step back to where he was. But uh, Alex Smith has seen him having another good game. Uh, he really showed that he has the same uh, ability to play just as hard as he always has. So he's going to have a great week going, great game, I think. Uh, hopefully get some touchdowns for him. And, uh, yeah, let's have a good season. Let's have a good game. So keep on this crazy season. And for those who say uh, that Jason Wright acknowledged that Washington football team could become the permanent name, don't buy it. I'm not. It's not going to happen. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. I will see y'all next week with my old green screen setup and better, higher audio. I know it's been kind of low when I'm here at Liberty. I apologize for that, but it will be better when I'm at home with my mic and camera and green screen. Let's get it. Hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. I will more. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to have a bell button to notify every single time I put a brand new episode of Watch the Station. Make sure to comment down below, and I will catch y'all Monday. I'm out. Peace.